and welcome back to Melon. So today we have a special edition of our unboxing because Ooh, Lynn I'm here. is actually here for once. <laughs> and, so, we, and all my boxes came before we got here, <laughs> so I actually have all of mine to share with you guys. Yeah, I have all of mine but Ipsy. Ipsy came late. So we have a ton of boxes to unbox for you. We have Sephora Play, BoxyCharm, I have my Ipsy, I also have my Allure Beauty Box, and I have my Glossy Box, and I also recently purchased the Sephora Play Luxe Edition, so I have that to share with you guys also. So we have a ton of stuff to share today, so we're just going to dive right in. Uh, what do you want to do first? You go first, because you've got like so many. Alright, should I do my Ipsy? Because my Ipsy sure. came. Yeah, I'm, I'm sad that my Ipsy didn't come. So this is the bag this month. It's like these cute little like comic book lips. <laughs> I actually loved the bag last month, the ice cream. Oh I, my god, that one I, like, is so cute. Use it. So here we go. So the first thing right on top is this NYX whipped lip and cheek mm -hmm. color. So this is pretty cool. Uh, I love NYX products. It's kind of an interesting doe foot applicator. And okay. it's like Pretty little shade of pink, which is right up my alley. And the cheek con I definitely see myself using this on my lips. Yeah. The cheek is a little interesting, but it does sheer out. Ooh, though. it like and it blends out really nicely and it's yeah. not like thick. I thought it was gonna be like sticky, but it's not it's at not all. It's not at all. So I would definitely for I'm, I don't normally wear like cream products on like as blush, but maybe for the beach for the summer. I'll try really it that way, but I'll definitely it's wear super it. On my lips. It's definitely so sheer. Like you can really like sheer it out a lot, and it's it's soft. That's what I like about yeah. it. Yeah, I think that it's not. I feel like normally products like that are sticky. Yeah. So my next product, if I can get it unwrapped for you, is Margaret Dabbs Fabulous Hands and Feet Treatment Enriched Nail Polish. Hmm. So it's this like turquoise color. blue color. It's different. I definitely don't have anything like this in my collection. Yeah. Um, I tend to stick to pink on my nails. Everybody likes to make yeah. fun of me. We make fun of her a lot because she has um, a very strict color range and it's usually like dark pink, light pink, nude pink, white pink. White pink. pink. White pink is my favorite. That's her color range. Right now I have like, um, I have the kale polish hug and roll which is like a purpley color and oh, this is even oh. slightly outside my comfort zone. <laughs> okay, so the next product is City Color Cosmetics Shimmer Shadow in the shade Cheers to life. That's actually really pretty. There's plastic on it, I think. This is always the worst. <laughs> Got it. That was, like, wasn't too bad. No. Yeah. So, let's get a swatch of this for you guys. <laughs> it won't come off. Okay. There it is. Whoa. Oh my gosh. I'm so jealous. That reminds me that is so, so much pretty. of um, Colourpop's Lala. So pretty. A little less pink. Like that has a little pink in it. Yeah. I feel like this is more like of a true That's like, so pretty. warm copper gold kind of color. But the pigmentation on that was crazy. And this is a pretty big Yeah, that's huge. Compact. And I mean for eyeshadow, I feel like usually eyeshadows are much smaller. This is pretty big, especially in an Ipsy bag too. Yeah. That's exciting. No, that's an so, awesome one. So, okay, so, and then, was that three things? Yeah. Okay, so the last two things are masks. So I have a purifying fiber mask. Oh, the brand Bio Republic Skincare Green Tea Detox Purifying Fiber Mask. And mm -hmm. same brand, Aloe Rescue Revitalizing Fiber Sheet Mask. So... This is probably, oh, this is detox and this is after sun. So I will definitely be <laughs> needing this at some point this summer, probably at the beach. This is definitely up my alley. Detox, as long as it doesn't dry my skin out too much, or check it out. But I don't really do sheet masks, but I always want it to, so this is a good Yeah, it's a good, like, quick, to try you them. just flap it on your face. and I have one more product. This counts as one. Oh, that this was nice, Ipsy. Yes. Oh, this is exciting. The Bomb Bomb Springs Long Wearing Blush. Ooh. Ooh. I've been wanting to try their blushes, so I'm really excited that I got this. That's because really pretty. While their stuff isn't, like, as expensive as some brands, it's also not... It's also just, I feel like, hard to get. Like, I want to go and Kohl's. touch things. So. so there it is. I don't know if well, we don't have a Kohl's camera. camera. So. Oh, that's right. I forgot you guys want to close them. I don't know if they have it in the store, but I know they have it online. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I feel like it's, like, 20-something dollars for a yeah. blush, so it's nice to get an opportunity to... That is really pretty. Try it out. And that's definitely 
very classic kind of pinky blush that I would wear. Yeah. So she loves pink, so I do. Okay, so that's it. Yeah, I'm actually pretty excited. Ipsy. Yeah, no, that was a good ipsy bag. Good job. I feel like I've had some like eh eh ones, but this one, this one's good. So next up, I'm gonna unbox Sephora Play. So obviously, when you open it, you have your little 50 extra Beauty Insider point things, which <laughs> I love. And then the bag this month, it says, in a summer state of mind, it has these little swimmer people on it, so I guess the theme is summer. Very fitting, since, you know, it's June. It's summer. Okay, let's see. So, the first thing I have is actually the perfume for this month, and it's the Derek Lamb I.O. Crosby. Or 10. 10 Crosby? <laughs> I'm not sure. Blackout. <laughs> Perfume, interesting. I've never heard of this brand. I feel like I've oh my gosh. seen it, but I don't. I've never yeah. smelled it or like smelled any of their perfumes. Ooh, it's very citrusy. Wait, really, Dad? <laughs> We're going to a Tom Petty concert tonight, and our parents are getting a little Apparently bit they're, excited. I think they've already started pre-gaming, even though it's like eleven o'clock in the morning. <laughs> they're cooler than we are. <laughs> Mom might like that. Mom, Mom yeah, really very, likes citrus. It's citrusy, but like. No, you let me spray, spray it. Ooh, I, like, I that. like that a lot. It is, it's, that's like really good, okay. like daytime summer. Yeah. I feel like Sephora does a really good job matching perfumes. Like every single one I've gotten from them, I've actually it's really liked. liked. And Which perfume is, is a hard awesome. thing because like some you'll just like something. There no might not be a reason why you like or dislike yeah. it. You just smell and you're like. Ugh, or you smell it and you're like, oh my god, I like need to smell that all the time. Yeah, like, and like I, perfume is weird. I don't know, like I'm not. I like a variety of things. So, like sometimes I like musky scent, sometimes mm -hmm. I like floral, sometimes I like citrus. So I never, mm -hmm. I don't have like I one thing that I like. Keep smelling it, and I really it does. Like it smells. It. It's growing. It smells on me. really good. I'm gonna look up how much that costs. Like, yeah. Full size. So my next product are the Dr. De Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Glow Pad Self Tanner for Face, and they come with it comes with three little pads. I've actually um, used the ones that aren't the self tanning mm -hmm. ones, just like normal peels, and I actually really liked it. I'm not sure how I feel about the self tan. I'm a little nervous. Of, like I don't use self tanner. It kind of terrifies me. But this is an interesting product if you are into self tanning to like try out. And I mean, you get three, so I feel like that's pretty it's good. It's a good way to try it, and it's like double duty because you're doing like skin yeah. care and you're getting the self tan. I feel like you could pull it off. I'm so fair that when I use self tanner, yeah. I turn orange, and it's. It's not a good look for me. Let us know if you've used these before in the comments below and how hard or easy it was. And maybe I'll try it out. Okay. So my next product ooh, is the Bumble and Bumble Don't Blow It for Fine Hair. <clears throat> fine to medium soft hair. Which I feel like mine is. That, mm. That's yeah, pretty. That's good. Act that's what it looks like. Our mom actually uses this and she loves it. So I'm excited to try it out. And this is a nice like little travel. That's perfect to thing. bring when we go to the beach. Yeah. Alright, alright. Not mad at it. My next thing is another hair product. I just saw it. <laughs> this is the Brio G Geo. I never know how to say this. Curl Charisma. Looks like this. Which also very excited about because I love wearing my hair curly, either curled or naturally during the summer. It's just easier. So I'm excited to try this too. I love curl creams. And I really like that brand. I just tried mm -hmm. my first products from them and I'm obsessed with it. I got the scalp like deep charcoal like detox scrub and I really love it. So. I want to try even more stuff from that brand, so it's exciting. Ooh, it's supposed to defrizz curls and hydrate them with the avocado oil. Mom, Sounds luxurious. Mom's gonna be stealing that from you. I know. I'm just warning. Is that it? Right. No, I have all, I have two more things. The next is this Kat Von D liquid lip in the color K Dub. Ooh, this was the pretty. highlighted product this month. They always give you like one sneak peek. Uh, it's very pretty. Not sure I will wear this. I don't really go for a bold lip very often, so maybe I'll pass it along to someone because I probably won't use this. But it is very pretty, and it's awesome that you get like that's a good a size. Like, it's a good size, and like Kat Von D, like her lipsticks are her liquid lipsticks are pretty awesome. Yeah, so it's great that they added this this month. This is but. more almost like cause it's more like cool toned. I feel like yeah, like it was, it's more like my kind of speed. And I, like, I see oh, colors like this. I guess you can have it. I, well, I see colors like this, <laughs> and I love it. I see it on people, and I love it, mm -hmm. and I'm like, oh, I want to try that, but I'm never quite, yeah, like, I'm not adventurous bold enough. enough. Yeah, like, I just, like, I tend to go with my, like, standard nude lip. Yeah, it is super pretty, though. Oh, 
Maybe it's like oh, so maybe, purple. Maybe it's so tonight dead. at the concert. Ooh, okay, I mean, we'll if you're gonna it. do a bold lip, like a concert, yeah. and it's dark, so if you feel uncomfortable, like, people won't even know. People won't even know. <laughs> so my last product is the Tarte Tarte Guard um, Tinted Moisturizer. And I've Ooh. actually wanted to try this for a while. I think Kathleen Lights used it in a video, and I was mm, like, I mean, she, she used it. I need to try it. So it's SPF 20. So I'm excited to try this. Um, I love like light things for my face. There's like this giant sticker on the back. I love light things on my skin for um, summer. summer. The color's light, so it'd be a little light for me. Then Once it'll I get work tan. for me if it's too light for her. But yeah, I've used the Tarte Guard just like the sunscreen, oh, not like yeah, the tinted, yeah. and I really like it. I got like a luxury, like a big sample of it, and that's you, a lot of times when I grab if I'm traveling to somewhere mm -hmm. warm and sunny, I'll bring that with me because it layers really nicely under makeup. So yeah. That's so, interesting. I think that's a pretty good Sephora play bag. I'm surprised they put two hair care products in it just month. And you didn't get any, like, skin, right? Yeah. But I guess because we're moving into, like, the warmer months, Summer. I guess they think, like, you know. Hair. And hair, hair stuff's always good to have for traveling. Yeah. Well, the thing that's nice about the Sephora play bags is that it's all brands that you know. Mm -hmm. And it's nice or that... Or easily available. Right. That if you like something, you can go... You know you can go to Sephora and get it, whereas I feel like sometimes with Ipsy, it's fun to try like some of the more indie brands or brands you haven't heard of, but it can you have to then go online and order it like yeah. through Ipsy or wherever. So next is the oh, Allure anyway. Beauty Box. So this is one I haven't really seen people like talk about no. a lot, but I saw an advertisement for it in an Allure magazine, and I know Allure is like the beauty magazine. I feel like they like they do their beauty they, well they do like their readers choice awards and that mm -hmm. stuff's always good. It's always stuff I'm like, yep, I love that or ooh, like I wanna try that. Yeah. So I was excited. This one's a little more expensive. It's fifteen dollars a month compared to like Ipsy or Birchbox. And Sephora Play is ten, right? Yeah. Awesome. So this is my second one. My first one was really good, so I'm excited for the second time around. And the first thing I see <laughs> is the YSL Touche Clot Blur Primer, which is really exciting. This is the product that they kept kind of advertising was going to okay. be in the box. And I was like, I hope that's in every box, because if you're advertising it and it's not in my it box, I'm going to be, be yeah. really upset. So I'm excited to see this. I've never tried this one, but this is obviously a really expensive yeah. full-size product. I think it's like, like $50. Makes it and this is like a nice... Oh wow, that is nice. size sample. And this is perfect for travel. Oh, that it is feels so, so, so nice. Cause I really like the Guerlain the Lore primer, yeah. which is like kind of has a similar look to it. That one's even more expensive, I think. Yeah, it's that one's like seventy five dollars. Yeah. It's crazy. This one's like fifty, I think fifty eight or something. Although this is more like it almost looks like glitter through it. Oh yeah. Really good. I like it awesome. because it's like blurring, but it doesn't feel like silicone. -y no, which I tend to shy away from those yeah. silicone primers because I find that they don't they don't play well with others. Like sometimes mm -hmm. you have to be careful what you put on I it. Like and they clog my pores, and it makes. Well, it they worse. probably do because they're like filling. Them. Yeah, like <laughs> like how do you clog it without filling them, right? Yeah. So the next product is the Tata Tata, Tata I don't know. Harper. Sorry. Next Generation Beauty Resurfacing Mask for Instant Glow. I actually think I got one of those in a birch box and I used it and I freaking loved it. Oh Her my masks god. Are really nice. good. I'm excited. And this is also like another brand that I know they have at Sephora and I know mm -hmm. it's expensive. It's not... It is. I think her masks are like 65 Ooh, maybe. It's like this kind of like gel like texture. I didn't use to use masks. I'm starting to get into it more. And I love. I kind of pushed her in that direction. Yes. <laughs> and I love the Instant Glow that. Makes me real. Disgu delivers instant glow, helps minimize the appearance of pores, and improves texture mm -hmm. for smooth, radiant skin. Apply a thick layer, layer, leave 15 to 30 minutes, rinse with warm water. Mm. I'll definitely be trying that out. I'm yeah. just scared I'm gonna like love it too much. And then... <laughs> well, I mean, she's like, they're $65 for mask. Um, so, like, the same price as like Glam Glow or like any of those. Yeah. So, it's not horrible. So, the next one is Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Anti Wrinkle Booster Serum. So, it's exciting. Also, another brand that I yeah, have heard yeah, of. Yeah, Ulta, right? Yeah. Reduce the appearance of wrinkles, vitamin C. I mean, I'm always willing to try like new skincare. Yeah. And then we have John Frieda Frizz Ease Flexible Hold Hairspray. I don't use hairspray a ton, but it's I do use it occasionally. You know what you can use that for? When we do our video of testing the brushing with your baby hairs, the toothbrush. Oh! Yeah! Okay. And we have another nail polish. Deco 
Nail Lacquer Feeling Fuego is the name of the shade. So the packaging is pretty. It's actually a really pretty color. It's a really pretty like coral yeah. color. It's not, it's got enough pink in it that I would still say it's within my like normal range of shades. <laughs> I'd, the I'd, packaging is the cool. The packaging is like in this triangular box. I, I don't know. I'm going to have to play with it. I figured out how to get it back in the box. Okay, last product is the Saint Tropez Self Tan Express Bronzing Face Sheet Mask. There you go. So she can do her bronzing things and then we get some <laughs> bronzing <laughs> sheet, sheet mask. mask. What? So, how does that even work? I don't know, but what's cool about that is that this is something I would never in a million years go and buy. No. Because I would be terrified. Oh, you're definitely trying that. But, and then, oh, and you can leave it on for different lengths of time depending on how dark you want to be. So five minutes is light, which that will probably have to be me. <laughs> that was my Allure box. So that was really exciting because I think all of the brands, yeah. other than the nail polish, were brands that I had heard of, was like familiar with. I know that they're higher end brands that mm -hmm. are expensive. I mean, you so, have two like pretty expensive brands in there. Yeah. And then two like middle of the road, and then and then one like drugstore. Yeah. So next, I'm gonna do box to charm, and I saw some glimpses of this on Instagram because I have no self control, and I am so excited for this box. So we're gonna open. I love box to charm. It's my new favorite subscription box. Okay. So first thing I see in here is uh, we got an Ofra lipstick, <laughs> so they also have a 30% off at OfraCosmetics.com, Boxy30, so if you guys are interested, cool. we'll leave that in the description box, I'm pretty sure, I'm sure everyone can use it, so. But we got the liquid lipstick in Santa Ana, and okay. this is a beautiful color. Maybe I'll wear that tonight. No, this is mine. I love the Ofra liquid lips. I just bought, I've actually never tried the Ofra ones. I just bought the Nikki Tutorials. Shade. Look how pretty that is. And like nude potion, I think it's called, and I really like it. The formula, it's it's one of the best liquid lip formulas I've tried. And it I've feels heard a lot super of smooth. people say that, and I was like, hmm, how good could it be? It's a liquid lip, and I put it on. And I was like, Kathleen raves. It's about really them. good formula. It's it lasts really long, but it's really not drying. It's really light on the lips, like you don't feel like that heavy, like crusty feeling that you mm -hmm. get sometimes with like the matte liquid lips. So, oh, I'm definitely excited to try this. I norm okay, I normally don't like a bold lip, but like for this, I would totally make an exception. So next is the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder, and I think this is like a loose highlighting powder, I believe. That's like all the rage right now. Yeah, I've actually never heard of this brand, so I can't even get this out. Of here. Ooh, it's like this pretty like champagne -y gold color. These kind of this kind of reminds me of the Starlet, mm, the Makeup Forever ones. Oh, it's like super intense. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. It's gold, but it's not like too yellow gold. No, yeah. So I think that that's makes like it, intense highlight. That makes it really suitable for skin types. Because sometimes for me, like if something's too yellow gold, I don't, I don't that's like it. Really but that's pretty. like a, such a soft gold. I like that it has like the little turn thing too, so you can like close it and it won't get so everywhere. It won't make a mess. That's really pretty. I'm really excited to play with that. It's definitely like an intense highlight, so that would be really pretty be like careful. in the inner corner <laughs> too. Like yeah. that's where I use the starlet powder. I love the way the starlet powders look like as an inner corner oh, highlight. Yeah. I feel like that would be really pretty too. And this is $26.99. So right there, you've already paid for the box twice almost. So my next product is the Real Her Playbook Shadow Palette 1. Open this, up. this was like um, one of the teasers that BoxyCharm released. I think there was like three options. Ooh, this one's a little like cool. It has two matte shades and then some like shimmery, satiny shades. That's what it looks like. It's nice that there's a mirror. In yeah, there. there's a mirror. The packaging is really nice. I like that it's like kind of small. It'd be good for It'd traveling. Be good for travel. Let's see how. Not the yes. most pigmented, but but if you're like go, I don't know. Yeah, if you're going for if like a like, softer look. I mean, the colors are pretty, and I'll have to play with it and get. Cause sometimes when you swatch things too, like it's 
it's always different. hard to tell when you swatch on your hand. Like, some can like swatch really well and then look not as good on yeah. your eye. So, but this retails for twenty eight dollars. So, so the next thing is a Luxie brush, and I freaking love Luxie love brushes. This. Yours doesn't look as much like a golf club as Kathleen. No, Kathleen. That was the cutest thing ever. She's so funny. Yeah, mine's a little... I have a little bit of an indent, but it's not bad. Oh, I'm so excited for I want to know what, what brush this is because she, Kathleen was comparing it to that Tarte blush brush that a mm -hmm. lot of people use. Got the gold handle. A lot, like oh, everybody yeah. uses it. You can only get it in like this limited edition blush set at Christmas. And I actually looked at doing it, but I was like, I really don't need four blushes. Just hit me in the face with it. And so she was like comparing it to that. So this is the Rose Gold Pro Precision Tapered Face Brush 640 by Luxie, and it's twenty four dollars. So my last product are actually these three sheet masks by Bio Bell Cosmetics. This is what they look like. So we have a hashtag Beauty Secret. This moisturizes to help the skin appear smooth and firm. It has pomegranate and hyaluronic acids. So this is what this one looks like. And then we have I Woke Up Like This, which enhances skin's natural glow. And this is Wild Rose and Vitamin C. That's what that one looks like. Oh, and then we have a primer. It preps the skin for a flawless makeup application. That's interesting. That's interesting. I've never seen. It enhances radiance, minimizes pores, and even skin tone. That's what that one looks like. I've never seen, like, a priming face mask before. That's kind of cool. I'm excited to try this. Well, I'm excited to try all of them. I love face masks, so... And these retail for $14.97. I think for all three, it's $14.97. So, mm. I feel like um, Madison Miller ta has talked about these masks um. before. And she's raved about them. So, I'm excited to give them a try. I mean, I love face masks. I love trying new face masks. So, I'm always happy when I get face masks. But I think that was an amazing box yeah, of charm this box. month. So, now I have this Sephora play. So, this was kind of neat. That's the, you actually sent this to me. Yeah. Because I think you got the email because of your play subscription. Because I didn't get the email. But this was only for VIB Rouge, I think. Yeah. You have to be VIB Rouge to buy it. It's not a subscription service. It's just a one-time purchase. It'd be cool if they did like a luxe subscription service. Like 20. Like a quarterly or something. Yeah. Like every month would be maybe a bit much, but quarterly would be cool. Yeah. So this is Dior Poison Girl Eau de Toilette. So I like getting perfume samples because obviously I don't travel with my giant bottle of perfume. Yeah. So it's nice to have. In, it's also nice oh, to. I don't like the ones that are like you need to like open. It scares me. It's very like classic. Yeah. Dior smelling. I don't know. I don't hate it's like it. It's a little citrusy, but it's also floral. It's like it's different. I don't hate it. I don't. I don't know if I love it. It's something yeah. I have to like keep smelling because sometimes scents kind of grow on you. Next in the magical golden box. So this is Burberry, Burberry Cat Ooh. Lashes, eye-opening volume mascara in jet black. So I'm excited for this because I don't think I've tried the cat lash one, but I did try another Burberry mascara when it like first when they first launched their like beauty mm -hmm. products. I tried one of their mascaras and I really, really liked it. And I'm like used it till the tube dried up. So Ooh. Well, that's so an interesting a really brush. cool wand. You can see that. It has vibes of the YSL the The Shock. The Shock, yes. How it kind of like tapers in a little bit. Oh yeah, and I love that mascara, and I remember really liking the Burberry like formula. So and it's that like spiky, which I kind of dig. Ooh. The Guerlain Lore primer. We actually were talking about this before, so we now were. I have the YSL and the Guerlain. I actually own this in the full size, but it's nice to have a travel. Oh, you can give it to me. Maybe. It's nice to have the travel option because obviously I would never travel with that no, primer yeah. because one, it's expensive. It's also a glass bottle. So if it broke, it would be a mess and I would be devastated because it's like $75 down the drain. Yeah. So this is exciting. I love this primer. This is my go-to. Oh, and it's in a pump. It's in a pump. That's nice. This is my go-to going out primer. Like if I'm going out somewhere and I know I want my makeup to... At least it went in the trash. Okay, that was just the first one. Yeah. Oh, you've used mine. Before it's like, it feels like, but it's refreshing almost on your skin. It feels like, so good on your skin. Oh, oh yeah. Amazing. This is my go-to if I'm like going out. I know I want makeup to last. I want it to look amazing. Plus, I just it's just so luxurious that when I'm like getting ready for a night out, it's just like yeah, the gold like I feel so fancy putting it on. Like I would never use this on an everyday basis because it's just like. <laughs> So luxurious. Yeah. Alright. Okay. So 
So next is this oh, look another pink thing. YSL lip thing. Woo! <gasps> I think this is so there's no description on it, but it did come with this fancy little book that I kind of scrolled through. So it's the Rouge Volute Shine Oil and Stick Lipstick. And this is the oh, shade so. Bright Strawberry Pink. So it might I think it's like more of a sheer. Oh wow. Oh, but that's pretty. That's really I will pretty. definitely rock this this summer. And that was like self felt super soft. It's super shiny. Almost was like an feel. oily kind of like well it's oil and lipstick. Like, oh, wow, like it would yeah. be really hydrating it's on like your very lips. Moisturizing. And that is so pretty for the summer. So next up we have Tom Ford Black Orchid perfume. I've used a couple of his orchid ones. Some I like better than others. Yeah. I don't know if I've tried this one. Okay, I will just say Sephora with the two perfumes. Like, ooh. This really? is like, this is definitely, yeah, two perfumes is a bit much, but. Ooh, it's a nice little rollerball. It's though. a nice rollerball, and I kind of like it. It's definitely musky and sh strong. Oh my gosh. Which I find all Very of his strong. orchid, the whole like orchid line is like mm -hmm. that. Like I have the blonde, or violet. I have violet, I have violet blondes, and it's like, like, mom's always like, you smell like French whore when I wear it. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Mom. It does smell good, but, but I was strong. not expecting it to be that strong. It's strong and musky. I think it's, I ate it a little. <laughs> it's not, a, it is by no means like a daytime <laughs> perfume. Like, this is definitely like a going out mm -hmm. perfume. But I do find that his perfumes last really well, long. Like, yeah. they are, like, the scent is heavy, but it stays with you and like lasts. Okay, this is the last product. And I'm like, when I saw it, was on the very bottom of the bag, so I like, didn't see it. And then when I saw it, I was like, oh. this is. The La Mer Moisturizing Soft Cream. <laughs> ah. This is, I mean, this stuff is like, the small size of that is like $175. The big, or yeah, I think it's it probably might be like more. not much bigger the than The normal size, like what we think is normal, they think is big, is like $400. This is pretty good. When Sephora first started selling La Mer, they did a promotion where you could get like a sample if you used a promo code. So I did it, of course. And the, oh. the one that came was like, it was like this big. It was like the tiniest little jar. Yeah, so the Sephora Play thing was really cool. I don't know how often this is something that they do, if it's something they yeah, do regularly. Yeah, I've never seen that I before. would totally buy this again. Like this, I mean, other than the Dior perfume is the only one I'm kind of like, mm, don't Yeah, I wish that they had done, instead of two perfumes, like something else. Like, like another skincare, or I guess there was a couple skincare, another makeup. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, but... Other than that, I'll definitely use and yeah. try out like, all the other stuff that was in there. So I'm pretty excited about it because it's obviously all like super, super high end stuff. So yeah. I'm excited to try it. Hopefully I don't like absolutely fall madly in love with anything. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us on this very long video where we unbox everything. Let us know what subscription boxes you are subscribed to or if there's any others that mm -hmm. you think that we should check out because... We obviously are makeup junkies, so <laughs> I'll take all the samples I can get. Yeah. I travel a lot, so it's really helpful. So I'd love to hear suggestions for other boxes that maybe are a little more, like, unknown. Yeah. If you know I love any. trying new things, so. Yeah. Any and suggestions? And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you like these types of videos. And is there anything else? Check us out on Instagram for details yes. about our... We're doing a giveaway right now. Um, I think this video will go up. Yes, this is June, so it'll go up before the end of June. We're doing a giveaway of some of our favorite products, and we're going to be adding a very special product very soon. Hopefully, fingers crossed, that we can get our hands on it. Um, so stay tuned for that, and enter. There'll be a link in the description box. There's a link on Instagram. There's a link on our blog, so there's lots of ways to go to that link. Um, but I think that's it. Yeah. So thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.